guys welcome back to the channel if you're new this is the 717 diesel axe and I'm Tyler and we build stuff and race stuff we have a lot of builds going on right now we're working on an S10 a 08 power stroke 64 and we will be building a Fox body Mustang coming up soon as soon as we get the uh, power stroke done but anyway we got some parts here we're gonna grab these head over to the new garage and get started And let there be light. Okay, so here are just some generic parts that I ordered for the build. Yeah, let me get my knife out here and we'll pop these boxes open and see what we got. Here we have the new Alliant Power um, injector seal kit. This comes with the fuel lines, the O-rings, and the crush washer. All this stuff you're seeing here today I bought on eBay. What do we have here? Turbo mounted kit, comes with the up height thing, the strain uh, gasket, the bolts, the turbo crush gasket that goes between the two turbos. If you try to reuse this, I guarantee you it will leak if you separate the turbos. This kit is cheap and it's good insurance. Okay, what do we have here? These are new glow plug um, harnesses. These are new injector harnesses under the valve cover. These are very easily broken. So, when we disassembled that motor that's in the truck, the harnesses were actually broken already. And what we got here, eight new Motorcraft glow plugs, cheap insurance. These were like, I forget, $60, $70 maybe. And, you know, it's common for if you reuse them you know, for the tip to possibly break off or whatever. So new glow plugs, cheap insurance. That's it for the stuff today. Last episode, episode video, whatever, we tore into this trying to figure out what exactly happened to it and without tearing the heads off, there's nothing noticeably wrong. So uh, we're gonna let it that. I don't feel like tearing into this. I got way too many things to do on the to-do list. So we're just going to freaking get this thing out of here, pull the trans, start stripping this out, get the new motor, new motor uh, prepped and ready to go in here. Just a lot of things to do. We got to fix the bed, sandblast this frame, get it ready to paint, new steering box, the list goes on and on. And I want to try to get this truck done as soon as we can so we can start the no prep Fox body rebuild because the car is already badass, but we're taking it a step or two or ten further to try to ensure some victories on the street and the no prep scene this year. We're coming hard. The S10, we got videos coming up because we have parts rolling in for that. We need to take measurements and stuff for the rear end so we can get the, uh, get the new rear end center or cut down, get some four link brackets on that, and he can, we can start working on back half in that truck. So that's gonna be really cool stuff coming up. But today, we're sticking to what we know the diesel. All right, guys, I've been working on it. Got the transmission ready to pull. I mean, I have done, we have done several videos on pulling a transmission, so I just unhooked the drive shafts, drained the fluid, unbolted the converter, unbolted the bolt housing, or bell housing. Pretty much just got it ready to rock, get ready to pull out. Didn't want to bore you with that. And then the reason I'm pulling that out is because if you pull the motor out, the transmission just kind of flops. There's nothing to hold the front end of it up. So I want to refresh the converter anyway. I want to paint the frame. I'm going to pull the transmission before we pull the motor, just for ease of everything. The transmission's just kind of a pain in the ass uh, once you pull the motor. It just kind of flops around, and nobody really wants that. So getting ready to drop this thing out. Let me tell you how much easier it is to access all this stuff with the cab off. I've pulled every transmission in my life with the cab on, Finally get the cab off and whew, it makes a difference, <laughs> let me tell you. All 
as you can see transmission dropped out of there with ease motors nice and loose ready to be yanked I'm gonna leave it right here for now just because I have to jack the truck up to slide that out and I might as well just pull the motor out before I jack it up no reason in lifting up more than I have to it's not hurting anything sitting right there temporarily so get the engine hoist over here throw my little chain and two bolts on there I think we'll be ready to pop her out well, I ended up getting a little held up I had to actually pull the what do you call this thing right here the air the air conditioning compressor out because as you can see I couldn't get the motor mount bolt out but that's cracked loose now we have the little baby chain which this thing is probably rated for like 50 pounds but it has pulled more motors than I can imagine diesel motors at that it's about time to hoist this freaking pile of scrap metal out of here way past my bedtime and we're done for the night as you can see we're making decent progress I'm going to remove the power steering box next I need to get some people over help me get the bed off of the truck and just going to start stripping it down some we need to take all the accessories and whatnot put it on the new motor get it ready but next video, I don't know if we'll be working on this, might be working on the S10. We got some action that needs to be done on the S10 to get the rear end process in the go. Just need to start measuring up for some things. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of builds, guys. Like I said, we got the truck, we got the S10, we got the future Mustang rebuild coming up, which I'm super, super pumped for. Just need to freaking get this truck out of my garage. I can't get to any races with my tow vehicle in this condition. So this is priority, then the race car. Thanks for tuning in. I'm glad that you stayed this long if you're still here. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the like button. We'll catch you guys later. 717 Diesel Addicts over and out.